Hi everyone, I'm Lior Samocha here at Studio A at USC Annenberg and today I have a very special friend coming to talk with me. She is model, swimsuit model and a My Woman Crush Wednesday, Kira Santoro. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come sit with me. Of course, thanks for having me. So Kira is actually one out of six finalists in the Sports Illustrated model search, swimsuit model search, right? And um, she invited me to come see her shoot the other day. And Kira, you're clearly a natural. Thank you. And undoubtedly talented and you competed against hundreds. Um, the winner gets to be in Sports Illustrated 2017, is that yes, correct? Yes, yeah, so we get to be in it again. We're all in it this year for SI Swimsuit 2016. Right. Um, whoever wins the voting basically gets to carry on into 2017 and become like one of their official models, so. Right, so. Ooh, lots so at stake. That's <laughs> awesome. Exciting. But you got to actually be in Sports Illustrated 2016. I did, How yeah. was that? It was really emotional. I was so mm -hmm. happy. Um, it's honestly been my dream as long as I can remember because I've always been swimsuit modeling and mm -hmm. I guess that's like the top of the totem pole for, right you right know, that was the swimsuit dream. models yeah. so it that's was really amazing. exciting it, I was so happy to just be a part of the team at all and just be involved but to win would just be incredible like, cherry on top of a Sunday. of course so um, I actually heard that you are competing against one of your best friends is that true yeah it is true it's mm -hmm. It's so great because with her and I, it's not competitive at all. It's like I would be so happy for her if she won, and mm -hmm. she would be happy for me if I won. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't really her dream job. Her dream job is Victoria's Secret, and she That's knows awesome. that this is my dream job, so she's She'd be happy rooting for, for me. She's so happy. She would be so happy for me if I won. So That's beautiful. Yeah. So speaking about you know empowering females and empowering each other, there's been a debate going on in Hollywood right now. I'm sure you know about yes. body positivity. Um, a lot of stars have joined the debate, like Amy Schumer, Jennifer Lawrence, and uh, Ashley Graham, whom you know. Yeah. Um, as an insider in the world of modeling and as a model, do you think that the industry is pushing towards promoting body, body positivity, or where is it at right now? I think that it is because, you know, so many models now, especially the plus size models or even just average size women, like, they're making a comeback and it's not all about the stick thin girl anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be stick skinny to, you know, book a Maxim shoot and be on the right. cover of it or be, you know, on the cover of Sports Illustrated or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually just passed a law in Paris about how now the runway models need to get doctor's approval to make sure that they're not, they don't have eating disorders, that they're healthy enough to actually rock, walk the runway. That's amazing. So I think that there is going to be a huge comeback in having a healthy body and not just mm -hmm. skinny. And mm -hmm. I know that sometimes women are just born like that, just naturally right. thin. And no matter what they eat or what they do, they're just going to be thin. Right. But there's a difference between girls that are really, literally, they're killing themselves to try yes. to, you know, fit in with to the brands in, right. or fit in with the fashion industry. And so I'm really happy with the direction that fashion is going now. Definitely. It's extremely progressive. Yeah, it is. So um, what would you tell your younger fans it, like about body positivity? What advice would you have for them? I would say to just love your body and love yourself and don't pinpoint little things about yourself. If you don't say that you hate something, don't be like, oh, I hate this or mm -hmm. I hate this. Like mm -hmm. if you want, you know, a different image as a whole, then focus on your entire body just be healthy and work out and well, that's love yourself advice. be comfortable in your skin that's so i had a few more questions for you some fun things roll them out roll them out so um right now what is your favorite show to binge watch at the moment oh my god i binge watched so hard the people vs oj simpson oh i love that it was by the time i started watching it was on the sixth episode mm -hmm. and i had wanted to start watching it but i was just so busy and i was mm -hmm. in and out of town when i was i was in new york when it started mm -hmm. so i just I came home and I binge watched the you first six up. episodes like it was a movie. People versus OJ. Yeah, that's what I binge watched. Um, I'm I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, but I've been watching since like season one, so I'm like a goals. So I'm like a you know like an old Game of Thrones yeah. fan because okay. some people are like really getting on as of last season or this season, and they're getting really excited about it because I feel like that show the has newbies. so much more buzz now than mm -hmm. it did. 
before in the before, first yeah oh i was there from the beginning babe i'm I with know, you I'm i know with you. oh my god um, khaleesi i'm rooting for oh khaleesi that's my favorite i'm rooting for her so hard she's amazing what is your favorite app of the moment i think i know what it is but snapchat yeah that's snapchat <laughs> okay so um, snapchat if you follow kira on snapchat you would know she's just really entertaining and really fun you should follow her if you don't already um uh, yeah so snapchat and my next question is, are you going to Coachella? I am, both weekends. You are? I, both weekends, yeah. So you guys have two chances. <laughs> two to chances. Run into her. Weekend two one chances. and weekend two. Is there anyone you're excited to see? Um, yes, okay. There's a singer going, um, SCA. SCA, I haven't heard of her. Oh my god, she's amazing. She's amazing, okay. Love her. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see Guns N' Roses, actually. My mom's ringtone when I call her a sweet child of mine, so it's just kind of like a cute little so inside thing. So I'm actually, I, I really am very excited to see Guns N' Roses. Um, I'm excited to see Bourne's. I saw them last year, though, um, at Life is Beautiful in Vegas, mm -hmm. but I'm, they were really good live, mm -hmm. so I'm just happy to see them so again. So excited to see them again. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of the people on the lineup I've seen already, mm -hmm. but it's just... It's always, always fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's always it's always fun. Uh, so two time two weekends. Uh, yeah, I love live music. This is my, actually my eighth year in a row going to Coachella. I knew you weren't a first timer. Yeah, I know you're in. It's you're my eighth year. A so. season <laughs> Coachella. That's amazing. Yeah, but um, if we're counting like how many times I've actually been to the festival, it's ten because I went two weekends in a row last year and I went two weekends in a row three years ago. So you're really a seasoned Coachella. Yeah, guy. I really sadly am. Do you have <laughs> any advice for first time goers, first time festival goers? Drink water. water. <laughs> drink Stay water. Hydrated. It's so hot. Drink water. I, that's honestly great advice. Yeah. Like you, you could be saving lives right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about on outfits? Do you have any advice for people who don't know what to wear? Um, bring a jacket for nighttime. It gets cold. Jacket. But, um, you know, just wearing cute stuff mm -hmm. that shows your personal style and like how <laughs> you would rock like a cute little bohemian desert yes. thing. But like, Put your own twist on it. I love it. Don't wear what everyone else is wearing. Put your own twist on it. And there is kind of a standard outfit that yeah, everybody wears. Yeah, there kind wears. of is. Do you know, know. what you're wearing yet? Um, no. I have like <laughs> I have like five gift bags to go through with like wow. so many clothes in it. The and life of a model. We get like, it. I, what do you look for in a man? You can't know. Like I, this is like one that I get asked in every interview, mm -hmm. and I, it's, I've been asked in so many magazine interviews. Because guys, if you know. can't know me. I'm sorry. Like if you know who I am. If you follow me on any social media mm -hmm. account, like it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. If you're like a fan, Can't like know. we're we're not. So somebody. If can, you like, meet me and you're just like, you know nothing about me, oh, okay. you know, yeah. and you just want to get to know me, mm -hmm. then that's great. A, great A, A one. If gonna, you know me already and you're like, I'm a fan of yours, can I get a picture? By the way, can I take you on a date? It's not happening. Mm, it's sorry, not happening. it's not going to happen. Guys, don't do it. Just pretend like you're not a fan. Just don't. If you run into like a, a challenge, be like, I don't know who this girl is. <laughs> no, Tinder. people get intimidated <laughs> to come up to me, though. I'm sure. And I get like, a tweet about it later, like, I saw just you. Just passed you. Didn't want to come up and say hi. <gasps> but you're beautiful. Like, I love you. And I'm like, I'm like... Am I walking around with like the worst no. resting bitch face ever? You don't because even you have can totally one. come up to me. I'm not gonna be like weird or mean about it. So I get guys, so many tweets right after. Do not do like, that tweet. That after tweet, just go up to her. Just come up to What's me and up? say hi. Yeah. I get them. I got them at the airport before too. Like oh. just pass you in terminal five. It's a little creepy, but okay. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Are you on Tinder? No, I'm not on any dating app. I'm not on Tinder. I'm not on Raya. I'm not on Bumble. I'm not on. I haven't any. even heard of these. I'm not on what? any dating app whatsoever. If you find my picture on there, it's because someone's trying to catfish you. <laughs> I'm not on dating apps. So it's I not I don't her. believe in dating apps. If you think you've been talking to Kira, you you're not. Been. I don't believe Sorry in dating apps. I'm against them. I think that they are a waste of time. I'd rather meet someone organically. I asked your Twitter followers if they had any questions for you, and I picked one. Uh, your follower, Jonathan, seems to think that you're a little weird, Kira. I don't know where he would get that from. <laughs> I don't but, know where. <laughs> um, um, so he wants to know if your parents are like that, if they have the same weird, outgoing personality, quote-unquote, as you do. Um, well, I grew up being very close to my older brother and to my mom, and yes, uh, <laughs> me, my mom, and my brother are just about the same person in different forms like my mm -hmm. mom's the older version of me and my brother is the male version of me my dad is more reserved and my little brother is very very shy so he's kind of the oddball out but um yeah pretty much me my mom and my older brother are Mostly the same 
-hmm. We're the same, exactly the same. We can't go anywhere together because people are just like, oh. <laughs> well, your personality is amazing. <laughs> so honestly, three of you would be super cool. <laughs> and my last question is, are you single? I played the fifth, man. I knew I it would be this one. <laughs> yeah, I played the fifth. Like, personal life is my personal life. Sorry. I like it, and I'm sorry, guys. I yeah, tried I'm for sorry. you. Like, that was, like, the most popular question. I know, and I <laughs> I did, like, a, you know, like, a live ask Kira mm -hmm. segment on mm -hmm. Twitter before, and mm -hmm. I got asked that question so many times. Like I just skip times. over it. It's, like... It's your own thing. It's, it's my personal mm -hmm. life. Like, I don't really need people to know, like, who I'm dating or, like, right. if I'm dating. It's... You know, completely I respect separate that the personal so life with the work life I respect that so much thank you for divulging so much <laughs> on your dating life like that that was plenty um, I hope you have a lot of fun at Coachella thank you and good luck in Sports yeah, Illustrated you can still vote right people can still vote for you yes you can voting closes this Friday and where can they go to vote um, si.com slash model search to vote for me make sure you vote for Kira thank you so much for coming to talk to me thanks for having me